The weather wasn't ideal and let's not forget, one horse didn't make it home. But as always, the Melbourne Cup stopped the nation today as British youngster Cross Counter raced his way into history. Our veteran Melbourne Cup correspondent Marty King was out amongst it. You know, you really have to come here on Melbourne Cup Day to Flemington to know what cup fever is all about. Yes, you can see it. Yes, you can hear it. But the important thing is you've got to feel it. It may be the race that stops the nation, but nothing stops this party. Does it, girl? Let's get ridiculous! I look like a big deal. Look at the camera, no. Have you ruined your shoes? Oh, yeah, they're done. Yeah. Do you care? No. <laughs> hey, where are you from? Uh, from Perth. So does everybody in Perth drink champagne out of the bottle? No, it's just, uh, it's just the guys that move from Perth and go to Melbourne. And we try to fit in. <laughs> Let's get ridiculous! Can I be on current events, please? Who cares about the weather? We're here for the fun, and that's that thing. Marty, you're embarrassing yourself. I've lost an earring. Can please everyone look out for this earring? Yeah. You're putting me on the camera, are you? You're very famous now. Oh, my God. We are clearly great dressers. We have good sunglasses, good times, and uh, we love alcohol. And that's a good, that's a good thing, right? This is how we do. And what's your uh, drink of choice here? Champagne. Champagne. A lot of fun, a lot of people. Lots of fun, lots of people, lots of drinks. Are you from Sydney? No, I'm from Brisbane. I, I can tell. I'm drunk, I'm maggot. You're maggot? Yeah. Never heard of that one? Yeah, right. maggot. I'm good, mate. Yeah. Are you even Aussie? It's maggot. What, what time did you start? Nine, Does that matter? 9.30. <laughs> Does that matter? No. no it doesn't count. Matter. No, I don't drink, man. You know, when you look this good, like him. Oh, you, you look good. Oh, there goes my belt. <laughs> oh, her pants are falling down. No, no, not falling apart yet. The way in the Do you think we go together? Yeah, we do. <laughs> you yes. said I had a nice package. Well, we said you were the total package. Oh, sorry, I must have misinterpreted that. I'm just so used to the other one. How is this going to change your life, Martin? It's changed my life enormously already. Has it changed your life enormously? Being here with you, baby. <laughs> uh, 15 bucks to see us, 20 bucks to see us. How's your day? My day's been great. It's about to get better. Why is that? Because we're going to go back to the birdcage and we're going to have a few some drinks and just enjoy the time with the beautiful people around. So you've seen all the colour and the movement and the fun and the laughter here on the lawn in the general public, but what is happening in the birdcage? Tinica, tell us all about it. Thanks, Marty. Here in the birdcage, marquee organisers are taking things to new heights, including a 12-metre rocket ship here at Moon. Rain, rain, rain. Feel like you're on another planet. A lot of horses, big hats, lots of champagne. Let's get glam. I think I'm known for a boogie and a good time. The champagne was flowing and the big names were letting their hair down. <laughs> Actress Natalie Kelly from Fast and the Furious and Dynasty made a splash. Singer Sam Smith was greeted by paparazzi and the original diva, Dionne Warwick, made a special appearance at 1 Oliver Street. Of course, the Glamazons were out in spades. How big a part does fashion play in the Melbourne Cup? Oh my goodness, it's the only part. <laughs> All eyes were on supermodel Megan Gale. The cup made the entrance, I was just merely tagging along for the ride. You look like a star today. I mean, you are a star, but you literally you look literally like... You literally have a lot of stars. Isn't this amazing? So beautiful, a Paolo Sebastian dress. If there's a woman who knows fashion, it's celebrity stylist Lana Wilkinson. Have you ever had a fashion disaster? I have, me personally. I've actually had like a bit of a tear and I've had to sort of hand sew in the toilet. So I've got my kit just in case. So if anybody needs any help, I'm on hand. Got any band-aids? I've got band-aids, I've got clips, I've got hair pieces, you name it, I've got it. Ricky Ponting was sporting an interesting accessory. Couldn't find the navy blue one to match, to match my suit today. 
Over in the Pace penthouse, it was all about glamour and opulence. Their feature, a bed worth $60,000. The same kind found in Buckingham Palace. It must be made out of gold, I'm sure. <laughs> it's so luxurious. I think people just love the glitz and the glamour of the birdcage. It's like a big party atmosphere. Well, I cut some shapes, obviously. Um, this frame, you know, helps me move around uh, like a dying flamingo. Um, but no, it, that's what always goes off. It's always fun. This double story masterpiece has the tick of approval from block judge Neil Whitaker. To me, Pace Penthouse has the feel of a luxury apartment. It's bringing something new to the birdcage. Brain, 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 brain. At one point, the birdcage turned into an aquarium. You know what? If you turn around, the entrance of the birdcage is actually flooded. The water is up to my ankle strap and they're putting down boards like in Venice. You know when in Venice it floods? <laughs> and put down the board so you can walk across the catwalk. Ooh, it's a bit cold. How are you going to warm up? Uh, alcohol. <laughs> a few drowned rats. <laughs> I actually wore my safety vest. I'm ready to work, whatever it takes. Lucky there were hair and makeup experts on hand to help the soaked. I was looking for you. We've got a job to do, you know. Whoops. Fast cars and fancy food were on offer at Lexus. Chef Neil Perry offering up culinary delights. We make sure that while you're drinking the champagne, we're giving you something to soak that up with. This year, Maya Emirates and Lavazza were no more in the birdcage. Bumble, the dating app, one of the new kids on the block. Have there been any love matches made here so far? I think there have, because our cameraman's single, so <laughs> I'm just saying. You need to be on Bumble then. Do you get to let your hair down? Um, you do, but I always think it's one of those days where you are here for a while, pace yourself, don't peak too early, drink lots of water, don't take your shoes off. Time for me to sit back and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Cheers, Marty. Well, thank you, Tineka. I'll just continue the hard work here with my beloved general public on the lawn. Working. Thanks, mate. Hey, whoa, whoa. Easy on, man. Bring that back. My yay is different to your yay. Today's my 40th birthday. You only look 30. Oh, well, I feel amazing. Thanks for your compliment. All I wanted to say was, at the end of the day, you win some, you lose some. Let's be honest, I'm not wearing a bra right now. This is when it gets messy. Tracy Grimshaw, how are you going? This was Van at the Cox Plate. I uh, was thrown out with a selfie stick, but I managed to bring it in in three pieces and got in here, mate. What do you do with the pictures? Oh, uh, well, it's for memories. Strictly memories, you know. Cheers, boys! Had a good day? Oh, it's been excellent. It's been sick. Sick, sick. You've been sick? No, 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 it's been sick. <laughs> <laughs> Taking the piff? <laughs> Who do I bet on? This, this, so many horses. But I, I don't know anything because I'm from New Jersey. I don't know anything. Don't know. So far, so cool and split left. You heard it here. What's your favorite today? What would you recommend? Sound check. Ready? Rip to Iron Man, let's go. Affiliates in front. On the outside, here comes Cross Canada with a big run. That's a nice win. That's a nice little win. Um, my wife will be happy. Hi, Sue. <laughs> and the, the, it's the front. Cross Canada, 100 metres out. 11 and a half in front. In second place, my Mello back. Cross Canada. Godolphin. They've won their first Melbourne Cup after 20 years. What a win! Yeah! <laughs> Chickadees. Hello. What are you dressed as? Chicks. We are the classy girls. And what makes you so classy? Just look at us. What did you What did you say? <laughs> How do you feel dressed in that? I feel terrific. Everybody comes up and has a chat to you and asks you where the suit comes from. <laughs> and what do you girls love about the Melbourne Cup? This today, the actual carnival. 
the fashion, the weather. How's the weather? I love it. <laughs> You're like a little lizard. <laughs> You know exactly what I'm going to ask you. What do dirty girls do? Oh, oh. Let's get up to your wouldn't, imagination. I'll say, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> so, what do you think of the Melbourne Cup? I love the Melbourne Cup. I've probably been coming here for about seven, seven years now. It's my seventh year here. I love it. I'm a hairdresser, so I like doing my blow dries, my heat ups, everything, and then I come and enjoy my day. So can I ask you why you're having your lunch and your drinks on top of a rubbish bin? Because there's no tables. And there's no rugs on the ground because there's a I lot of water. I don't want to get my bum wet. You what? I don't want to get my bottom wet. Oh, you said boom. <laughs> <laughs> Not the classic girls, but the dirty girls. Dirty girls. Woo! The dirty girls. So now you got me interested. The dirty girls. The dirty girls. What? what, the what? Dirty girls. <laughs> you train Shetland ponies. And breed them, yeah. But this is the Melbourne Cup. Yeah. There's no Shetland ponies in the Melbourne Cup. No, nah, but this is the big event. I mean, there's no Shetland ponies here, but uh, like I said, it's the Olympics. So tell me about the suit. Oh, uh, the suit, it's $130 from Upper. They made you pay for it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can tell the Melbourne Cup carnival started. Part of a shoe. <laughs> it's not mine. All you do is walk around with all the, uh, to all the girls. Because uh, the guys have got their beers, they've got all that sort of stuff sorted. So what is she to make sure that, you know, the look that they paid so much and put so much effort into, you know, is maintained and they, have, they look great. It's, and yeah. the it's in the bookie's bag, I love that. It's in the bookie's bag. Great touch. Yes. So a what's actually in here? Band-Aids? Oh, what's in here? Band-Aids, uh, hand Moisturizer. sunscreen, hairspray, dry shampoo. I love current affair. Yeah. I watch it all, and I'm not just saying that, no. I love it. I'm, I'm tired. Oh, are you? No, well, I'm not. I am 10 or 9 years. Right. Current affair. We've had a few wines. We've had a banquet. Good. And we are thoroughly enjoying it. I love the Melbourne Cup. It's a current event news. Thank you. Current affair news. Thank you for showing up, guys. Have a great night. Whatever. Oh, it is a long day, and just over 83,000 people turned out to watch the race.